Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. And today I'm going to show you guys the stretching routine that I was talking about in last week's video when I went over all of the things that I'm going to do over the next few months while I prepare for a potential surgery on my syrinx. Um, the stretching routine that I am going to show you is one that's basically for your upper body that gets super tight because we're always wheeling forward, hunching forward. So these muscles get really, really tight. These muscles get overworked. And the stretching uh, that I'm going to do today is all about loosening these muscles, stretching out these muscles, and just overall improving your posture. The technique that I'm going to use is called Egoscue. So if you wanna look that up, uh, you can go to the link in the description below. I will put the website there. And what Egoscue is, is uh, passive postural support exercises, essentially that stretch out muscles that are tight, um, begin to reactivate muscles that are what they refer to as couch potatoes, uh, and just overall allow your body to be in better alignment but you're not doing it like super actively, like you're not, you know, working out like with a weight or something. They're, they're really passive stretches that put your body back into better alignment. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, a lot of the Agoscu, actually all of the Agoscu stretches I'm gonna do on the floor. They just work better on the floor because the floor is really rigid and flat. If you can't get on the floor, you can do the things that I'm gonna show on a bed. But before I actually get on the floor, and start the Egoscue routine, I am going to just show you the next stretches that are not technically Egoscue, they're just part of my stretching routine. So these neck exercises, actually most of them come from my friend Chris, who's like amazing. She teaches um, aerobics to a few of us on Thursdays and she always does these neck stretches before um, we start our aerobics routine. And it's like the best part of my week. I love aerobics with her. She's just a ball of energy and has a great personality, but the stretches have like, they're just, they make my neck feel so good every time. So I'm gonna show you guys those ones. So these ones are mostly to stretch out the trapezius muscles, which are like the things get overworked because we're constantly using our head as a top and they're pretty simple. So the first one is simply just arm down, pushing down towards the floor, and then pulling your head sideways. So this is one stretch, and this just allows you to push your arm down, pull your head to one side, and get a good stretch in that trap. And then you just do the same thing on the other side, so push down with your arm and pull over with your head. It is toque season again, which I'm like super happy about because I'm like day four with no shower, so my hair is like messy. And before you start calling me yucky, um, I'm doing a photo shoot tomorrow for something and I wanna have a shower on the day of the photo shoot, so I didn't wanna have a shower today because then I would've had a shower two days in a row. And shower two days in a row is just not good for my hair and skin, it just dries me out. So that's why I'm wearing a lovely toque and a crop top, which doesn't really make any sense, but hey, I can do whatever I want. It's my channel. <laughs> okay, so that's the first stretch. The second stretch is just looking over either shoulder from side to side, one, and then straight ahead, and then over the other shoulder. And then this third one is really similar. We're going to sort of um, look over and then Put our head back and forth. Same thing on the other side, look over and then we're just gonna head back and forth. And then the last one is basically just where you look down and then you take a look at your armpit and sort of tilt your head. So we're down, look at your armpit and then tilt towards your armpit down. And this is stretching out the trap here as well. Then again, you look down straight, look at your armpit, 
down straight, look at your armpit, and then tilt your head towards your armpit in the diagonal. So these are all the neck stretches. And normally I would hold them a little bit longer than what I'm gonna do in this video, just because you guys don't wanna watch me hold my stretches. So those are the stretches for my neck that I honestly do them anywhere. I don't even have to be, you know, doing my stretching routine. Like sometimes I'm just in the car or eating dinner at my computer or whatever. I just feel the need to stretch my neck and I do those. So I'm trying to do those as many times a day as I remember. And then obviously in my stretching routine, which I try and do in the morning, but I don't always get it done in the morning. And sometimes I don't even get it done at all. Yesterday I worked and I just got busy, so I didn't get my stretching routine done at all, but I try and do it at least every second day. And the thing about Egoscue is you have to do it often. It's not like something that you can do twice a week or three times a week and have it work. I did it consistently for months and I felt so much relief and then I stopped doing it and my muscles just went back uh, into their same old tight um, tendencies because obviously I'm wheeling and stuff. So you have to do it every day. Um, and then maybe once you get it like all stretched out, you can taper off, but just in general to get things nice and loose, you have to do it every day. So now I'm gonna get on the floor um, and I have my other camera over there so that you guys can see me at two angles um, and hopefully that'll work. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you the stretching routine on the floor. So I'm gonna grab my yoga mat and then I will hop down on the floor. So I can't, I can't be on the floor without a yoga mat because my tailbone is really, really sharp and my legs will just freak out completely if I have my butt on the floor without a yoga mat or anything. So I always put a yoga mat down and I fold it in half because it is not thick enough if it is just in one. Um, so that goes on the floor. And it basically just, um, it basically just goes under half of my body. And then I will maybe move you guys down onto this chair. Is that a precarious balance of my camera? I don't know about that. Let's try and find an angle where you guys can see me getting down. There, oh my God, you guys are precariously balanced on the arm of my couch, but we're gonna see how, we're gonna see how long it lasts. I'm gonna go turn on my other camera over there so that you can actually see me on the floor and then we're gonna get to work. I have to be fast because I only have 17 minutes worth of memory on my phone, which is recording over here. So we're gonna do this quick. I'm gonna get on the floor and show you guys the stretches. So to get on the floor, I always take my cup holder off my chair because I can't get in it otherwise um, because my butt always catches on the back of the cup holder. So I'm gonna do that before I get on the floor. That's off. And then I scooch my butt to the end, put my feet flat on the floor. and then reach down with my right hand and just sort of let myself down slowly onto the floor. Okay, success. There. Okay, so now that I'm on the floor, I'm gonna scooch my body that way and put my feet up on the couch so that my feet are like uh, on a 90 degree angle. Just helps me stay stable that way. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I lay, oh, you might be able to see. I lay down and then I put my feet up on the couch um, and they just sit on the couch while I'm doing my stretches. And now you can't see me at all in that other camera, but it's still recording with the microphone because the microphone on my phone sucks. Um, okay, so the first stretch that I'm going to do in the Egoscue stretch is like my arms straight out to the sides. And this stretch I would hold for um, 
five whole minutes and I it's just gravity opening up these chest muscles and then I always play around with the angle of it like sometimes I move my arms up and that gives this a nice stretch sometimes I move my arms down um, so you can play around with the angle to see where you're gonna get the, the best stretch but it's basically just passively stretching your tight chest muscles uh, and then wherever other muscles um, in between when you change the arm position. So this one you're going to hold for five minutes. And then um, when that one is done, the next one is like you just lay with your arms behind your head um, and just lay like this for another two minutes. Sometimes I hold it longer. Um, because it actually feels really good and my left arm has like something painful when I do this stretch so there's obviously like tight muscles um, that really need to get stretched out and when I used to do this consistently the pain used to go away um, after I did it enough but it's back just because obviously whatever muscle gets tight when I'm not doing stretches um, has gotten tight again so this one you hold for two and a half minutes and then when you're done that, um, you put your arms sort of like goal posts and you're doing stretches up and down 10 times or maybe like a snow angel, but with your arms not straight out because in a snow angel you would normally go like this, but your arms are like at a 90 degree angle and you're just doing like up and down 10 times. And then I alternate that one with this one with my arms straight up like this, clasped together, and then going back. And the idea is that you should be able to get your arms all the way to the ground, but mine are not even close. So that's how tight my front muscles are from wheeling and always being like hunched forward in a wheelchair because like I can if I like really stretch, but it kind of hurts. So you're not supposed to like go past what it would normally stretch. It's supposed to be really passive. So, um, yeah, my arms go about here, which is at least a good five inches from the floor, I'm assuming. So then you do that 10 times. And then you go back and forth between this one, the starfish one. Uh, and you do three sets of each of those. And then when I'm done that, um, the next stretch is just straight up with my arms out like this and I hold that and then I angle it from side to side. Um, and typically I hold this one for 20 seconds, this one for 20 seconds, and this one for 20 seconds. Um, and then do I do any other ones? I'm trying to think of if I do any other ones. Sometimes I pull my arms, my wrists flat like this, because this one is both arms out, or both palms out, whereas this one is one palm in, one palm out, and I'm just stretching my arm as much as I possibly can, and my wrist is back, as far back as I can. And then this one, again, do the same thing. And if you like bring this up towards the LaFleur, it like gives a different kind of a stretch too. So like in, and then like, towards the floor, still bending your wrist, that'll give a different kind of a stretch. But really, that's the entire Igoski routine. So the straight out passive stretch, um, another like passive stretch with your arms out, then these dynamic stretches where you're moving and the muscles are stretching and moving at the same time, and this one like this, and then out, and then one, two. So that is literally my whole Igoscu routine and the next stretching that I'm doing. And the aim is really just to stretch out the back of my neck where I could potentially have surgery and um, stretch out these muscles so that they don't get super, super tight before I go into surgery and I can't really get on the floor and do these things anymore. So, um, I suppose I can probably sit up now. Ugh.
and get back in my chair. Um, but yeah, that's the whole routine. So it's not super complicated, but you have to do it consistently. So um, if you can't get on the floor like I just did, um, then yeah, you can do it on a bed if you have a bed that you can get in the middle of and have no pillows or anything under, under your back uh, or under your head. Um, and then you can stretch. It's not going to be as good just because it's not as flat, but it'll still do, it'll still do something. Um, yeah. And while I'm down here, just a reminder that if you can't get on the floor and you think it's impossible, I couldn't do it either for 19 years in a wheelchair. I thought it was impossible because I didn't try. And if you don't try, you can't do anything. So it took me a whole year, sometimes two years. Uh, if I think back to how long it took me to get strong enough to even try getting on and off the floor. So it took me a year of exercising in the gym and then a whole year of trial and error on the floor and doing it every damn day because it was like, I thought it was impossible. I just didn't know how anybody did it until I just sort of my body and brain figured out a technique that would work for me. So give me a sec. I got to give the big lift here. Oh. There, all done. Okay, so that is my stretching routine for the next couple of months as I um, get ready for a potential surgery. It's just good anyway. Like I, I wanna just keep this routine up anyway because it's good exercise to get on the floor. It's good to stretch my muscles um, and it's good to work them all the time. So I probably will just keep it up. And this is just a much needed reminder that my body should always come first and everybody's body should always come first because we only have one. You know, if you're not keeping it clean, you're not taking care of it, then it's a pretty shitty place to live. So it should always be a priority. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and say goodbye for today, but I will keep you guys updated on all of the things that I'm doing for my health. Um, health is really important to me and this is just sort of um, an unlucky reason to have to sort of document and show you guys what I do to stay healthy and fit in a wheelchair. Um, and now it's just a more important reason for me to stay consistent with it. So that's all I got for you guys today. I will catch you back here next week. Um, and I will probably talk about the diet. Not sure yet, but you'll see something from me. Bye guys. Have a good day.